Some days life on the water feels like a movie. A beautiful sail with crystal clear water and a picture perfect sunset, cocktail in hand. But many of the days it feels like we sail to fix and fix to sail. While I accomplished a lot in Grenada, the list is never ending and I am ready to visit more islands. That being said, my main project is done and departing Grenada is becoming a reality. We got groceries! We are so close to leaving. They have installed my GPS positioning mount. So now I'm waiting for the Starlink mount as far as welding goes. I'm still waiting for my solar controller to clear customs. As of three hours ago, they had not unloaded the um, container yet. And that's the only hold up I have right now. Minus me and putting everything away and getting everything ready. But we're getting close to sailing. Hopefully. I just checked out of the marina and we're supposed to depart in a couple minutes so fingers crossed engine starts and I'm gonna get the power cords in get everything ready the wind is howling find an anchorage. It shouldn't be as packed as it was the first time I got in here, but it's still pretty deep. I apologize. I just forgot to film that entire thing. So backing down. We are solid, but look how amazing this trip Okay, now that we've actually moved, I'm gonna go check the boat. I haven't seen Mako in a bit. Um, 499.5 hours. So, leaving Grenada, we're gonna hit 500 hours on this engine. Missing now is AC. <laughs> oh. And in case you're wondering, this will did not get better. anyone is wondering how our first night that anchor is going we're ready to move I left the hose clamps for the lightning rod at the top of the mast because I couldn't get them apart hey Of 
have a cloudy, rainy, windy day. Sun's out right now. Um, I know you guys can't hear me at that wind. Uh, we're gonna race anchor. I text my broker and he can bring me the solar controller to Port Louis whenever he picks it up. So we're gonna get out of this swelling anchorage and I hope Port Louis is a little bit better. And my up button up here is broken. Um, that is sitting in USBI right now because I was supposed to be there like three days ago. I just tied my first mooring line successfully by myself. And I just put 500 hours on the engine. 501.5. It's still raining out a little bit, isn't it? Wanna go up? Um, so I picked up the mooring ball by myself and I didn't have to jump in the water. We're in 15 feet of water. It's the shallowest I've been anchored here in Grenada. And it's been raining pretty much since we moored. It's been pouring. And I can almost see the bottom. I'm very excited about that. Um, little update with everything. My Starlink wire has gone bad, so I don't have internet and last night I went to a bar to work to use Wi-Fi and I'm about to go to the restaurant here in the marina to upload a video and they have not unloaded the container yet that my solar controller is in and it's really frustrating because at this point it's just a solar controller and I don't it's not something I need. Good news is this anchorage is not as swelly, so it's not as bad to be here. And other than that, nothing else is going on. Mako's enjoying it a lot more. He's enjoying being outside. And that's it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in a little text, but I haven't talked to you guys about it yet. Hydro vein, this corner is not gonna work. The hydro vane has to be able to do a 360 and flop over 360 each way. So our solution is to raise that whole pole. Um, easiest fit. Um, so I'll get that ship St. Martin. Hey. morning it's Friday hopefully the container clears gets approval to unload this morning and I get my controller I'm gonna mess around with the autopilot a little bit and edit and see what else the day brings it has been raining all day and my container has not been unloaded yet. It's Friday, 
like 3 30 4 o'clock so I think I'll be here all weekend time is so different on anchor I feel like I have 10 more hours in the day Little update. Ha! Huh. Do you know we're sailing tomorrow? You have no idea. The rain has finally stopped. My solar controller was not cleared through customs today. And it's Friday and they don't work Saturday or Sunday. 8th of December. And the flotilla is on the 14th. And I know I don't have to go. Like, I know I don't have to go. And it's fine. I can't justify waiting on a single controller when I could be with a lot of friends. And I need to head that way anyway. So tomorrow I am going to clear out of Grenada, my clear customs, clear out, and make us another deal. I already got his health certificate for the BVI and it's good for 30 days. And St. Martin is, which is where I'd go next, is only good for 21 days. So I could probably transfer the health certificate island-wise, but the St. Martin one would be expired by the time I got there. So I'm not to get a new health certificate anyway. Huh, I know. <laughs> what? What? I have a solar controller on board, but it can only transfer, it can only do 50 amps, and I'm running 56 with all four solar controllers. So I'm gonna wire them up and be able to run a few of them, two or three of them, off of my current, the controller I do have. Having that is that I'm only on one battery. I've been fine, I'm still at 60% now, and it's been cloudy pretty much all day. And once I start sailing, we obviously have wind, that being said, hopefully we're gonna sail tomorrow and that's a little update. So I'm gonna cook dinner and Mako and I are gonna enjoy the sunset, the wet cushions. I just cleared customs. It is 9.45 and just checked out is a better word. So I'm gonna get a couple of gas jerry cans I filled up. I'm gonna put those away, braise the dinghy, and um, then I'm gonna motor out and test the autopilot, and then put the sails out. A couple days ago, I raised the dinghy partially to test it. Lifting this is a bit of a learning process, and I need to make a couple more modifications in St. Martin to make it easier. We are getting 13 knots of wind at anchor, probably about 20, 25 out there. This one, I just had to wrestle him out of, he um, saw me pull his harness out and we'll see, it's really nice because there are lots of boats sailing. It's been raining the past few days, it's sunny so far, so I guess it's time to turn the engine on. The first thing I did leaving the mooring field was test the autopilot. After five minutes, it was still holding core, so I put the sails out.
After putting the sails out, things started to take a turn for the worse, and I still had 400 nautical miles. This became the most challenging sail yet. 